Welcome to tutorials in hand.com. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to print multiple of three in Java using while loop. In the previous video tutorial, we have already shown you how to print multiple of five using for loop. So here we will be just making a change. We will be going with multiple of three rather than multiple of five and we will be using while loop. The logic will remain same. To use while loop, you know that first you have to initialize from where you want to start. So suppose we have this num is equals to one. We want to start from one and we will check all the numbers which are multiple of three up to 10. So we have the condition that we should run the while loop up to 10, right? So within while loop, you should give the condition that number should be less than 10. Till number is less than 10, you are going to iterate this while loop. And within this while loop, you will keep on increasing the value of this num by one in each successive iteration so that you do not enter into infinite loop. So this is what is the basic requirement that you need to write a while loop. So you have already completed the initial requirements for the while loop for your condition where you want to print the multiple of three starting from one up to 10. So your number will start from one and it will iterate up to the condition this num less than 10 is made and once each iteration is completed, the value of one will increase from one to two, two to three, three to four, and so on till it is less than 10, right? So this is what we have done. And now comes the logic part for checking the multiple of three. So you are already aware by now that we should make use of modulus operator within the if condition to see whether the number that you are checking is leaving remainder as zero when divided by three or not. So if the number when divided by three leaves a remainder zero, this mod sign indicates that it will check the remainder means when number will be divided by three the remainder that will be left will be the output of this particular instruction and whatever output will come it will be compared with this whether it is zero or not so if it is leaving no remainder that means the number is multiple of three otherwise it is not multiple of three right so if number is multiple of three then we are going to print that number so we will simply print the number saying that it is multiple of three. So if we execute this code right now, we will see that we will have some output like three, six, nine. So here you can also give one print statement. This is optional, right? If you want, you can give, otherwise you may not give. So here you are saying that multiple of three are, and then when you run this one this time, you will get something like this three, six, nine. Now how this is working, let's see. First what is happening is when you run the program, the value of num is one, right? So when the value of num is one, then when you go to this while loop, what will happen? The value is one. So one less than 10, it is correct, right? Because one is less than 10. So you will enter within this while loop. So within this while loop, the first thing that we are doing is we are checking within if whether this num mod three is equals to is equals to zero or not. So num mod three means what? One divided by three will leave remainder what? When you divide one by three, for example, you are dividing one by three, right? So when you are dividing one by three, what happens is three into zero is equals to zero, right? So you are left with one as a remainder. So this one is left as a remainder. So one will be the output of this one num mod three will give you remainder as one. So one is equals to is equals to zero is not correct. And as a result, it will not enter within the if block. And now what will happen? We will not print anything. Rather, we will increase the value of number by one. That means one becomes two. And in the next iteration, what happens? The value of num becomes two. Now two less than 10 will be compared. It will be true. Now you will go within this while loop again. You will check whether two mod three is equals to is equals to zero or not. Again, what will happen? You will check for two mod two divided by three is zero or not. Again, what will happen? Three into zero is zero. And then you are left with two as a remainder. So in this case, what will happen is two will be the output of the remainder 
of this particular instruction. So 2 is not equals to equals to 0. As a result, we will not enter within if again. And what will happen? This 2 will be increased by 1 and it will become 3 in the next iteration. Now the value of num becomes 3. 3 less than 10 is again true. We will enter within this. And now when you check within if 3 mod 3. So what will happen over here? You will see 3 divided by 3. So 3 will be divided by 3 1 times and this time the value 3 into 1 is equals to 3. So you have 0 as a remainder, right? When we divide 3 by 3, it completely divides it and you have no remainder. That means this time it will be 0 and then this instruction gives you 0, right? So 0 is equals to is equals to 0. This time the condition is satisfied for the if block and now you enter within the if block and you print the value of num for this particular iteration and the value is 3. So you see 3 is getting printed first right and then you will come out here you are increasing it to 4 again you will go and check 4 will be less than 10 that is correct and again you will come over here when you divide 4 by 3 what will happen 1 will be left as a remainder right and 1 is not equals to equals to 0 so you do not enter within the if block and you increase the value to 5 5 now less than 10 is correct so 5 when divided by 3 leaves you remainder 2 so 2 is not equals to equals to 0 that means you will again not enter within if and you will come out of if and you will increase the value 5 to 6. Now 6 less than 10 is correct. So 6 less than 10 is correct. You enter within the while and now 6 divided by 3 will give you remainder 0 right because 3 into 2 will be 6. 3 multiplied 2 times will be 6 and thus you will have 0 as a remainder and now 0 is equals to is equals to 0 will turn out to be true and you enter within this if block and you print the number 6 because this condition is getting satisfied and you have 6 also printed over here and similarly you will again come out and increase the value and it will go on and on once this condition is satisfied for 9 like for if you check for 7 and 8 you will not get this value as 0 so you will not print for 7 and 8 and when you go for 9 you will say 9 divided by 3 3 into 3 times is equals to 9 will leave you remainder as 0 and as a result this time satisfied and when you enter within this if block you print 9 and move out making it 10 due to this instruction and when you go over here then 10 less than 10 is not correct because 10 is not less than 10 rather it is equals to 10 and as a result this while loop will end because the condition is not satisfied for 10 less than 10 and as a result we come out of the while loop as well and our program ends so this is what we get within the range of 1 to 10 when you want to print the multiple of 3 within the range of 1 to 10 you will get this so you can increase or decrease the range suppose you want to get the multiple of 3 from 10 to 20 or 10 to 30 so you should have initial value as 10 and within condition you should run the loop up to 30 so number will start from 10 so from 10 till 30 it will check this condition whether it is leaving remainder as 0 or not and if the number is leaving remainder as 0 between 10 to 30 then that number will be printed. So if you execute this one you will get the multiple of 3 between 10 to 30. So 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. So this is what you are getting. So you can increase or decrease this range when whatever you want or you can also make use of a scanner to accept this initial number and the final number from the console and based on that you should complete this one I expect that you should try this one on your own you should play around and print the multiple of 3 or print the multiple of any number from anywhere till anywhere using while loop and if you are able to successfully do that then 
Congratulations, you have been able to understand the concept and if there is any doubt within your mind, don't hesitate to write to us in the comment section. We will definitely come up with a possible solution that will help you. For now, I will be signing off and we would expect you to like and subscribe our channel if you have not done it so far because it serves as a motivation to us as well. Thank you.